Hello everybody, we are back with another game of Pomfer. We are playing some Orzov Pestilence Control. We've got Double Scarred Baron's Secluded Step here. Uh, nice hand, actually. Let's keep... Tap lands make it a little bit slow. Okay, it's a heroic deck. We've got Journey to Nowhere here. Hopefully it'll be able to get us somewhere. Let's go with our Scarred Barons. Unfortunately, we won't be able to get rid of whatever they're... getting here without... Um... Until turn three, basically. Though, hopefully they can tap out. I mean, it does mean that they might overextend into their uh, Lagana Band Trailblazer, and we can hope that they do that. But this Warrior token does make it a little bit awkward for us. There's a Kabira Crossroads. Um, I guess we go Scarred Baron's uh, Secluded Step. Cycle Secluded Step. Let's do this first, I think. There's a Thrabin Inspector. Okay, well, let's just play our Scoured Barons past the turn. Back up to 20. Hopefully we're not taking too much. Oh, my goodness, an Ethereal Armor. Okay, well, this journey is going to be excellent. Okay, yeah, it's going to be really good. We're going to take a lot of damage, but they should be out of gas here. If they're playing their Ethereal Armor now, there's an Edict. Yeah, I think we just want to go with the journey here. So let's go Crossroads, gain some life back. All these guards make white. We're going to Journey to Nowhere, our Lagana Band. And then we can pass the turn. Eventually this Guardian is also going to be really, really good. Though they're stuck on two lands, they probably still have some gas. Maybe I shouldn't have discarded the Secluded Step. I will be hmm I won't mind picking up this journey to nowhere if ever I do get a um okay double edict I guess what I can do here they left up one white mana I guess I can go Thrabbit Inspector Knight's Whisper the Thrabbit Inspector can chump block or just straight up block something and I can hopefully get a land drop out of the Knight's Whisper there's the land drop, and a Pestilence to lock things up. Okay, Define Strike on the end step, sure. There's a 1-5 now. We can still block it pretty effectively. Sky Guard, okay. No tax, really? I'm surprised. Well, not really, actually. Land? Land. Okay. <clears throat> Can they kill us from 10? It'd be pretty hard with only three cards in their hand on their turn. Um, what I can also do is just play the Secluded Step and then Avon Rift Watcher. Hopefully, I can get rid of uh, Sky Guard or something. I do have these Chainer's Edicts that'll work. Over time, eventually, I really should start by playing this secluded step. It's a lot of white mana. Well, it's two white mana. It's enough for the Pestilence to do some work on these guys. Now, the question is, do I go with Guardian of the Guild Pact or even Rift Watcher? Uh, if I go with Guardian of the Guild Pact, it'll encourage him to go to, to, to put stuff on the Sky Guard. I could also go double edict and um, see what that does. That'll probably eat the Lagana Band on the Warrior. And then uh, he can kind of get in with his Sky Guard. I think if I want to encourage him not to, not to go with the Sky Guard, I mean, how likely is that, that he's going to do that? Or I could just drop Pestilence now and hope he can't kill me. Hmm. I think we're going to go with the Rift Watcher. Hmm. 
Yeah, okay, let's go with the Rift Watcher. Gains us some life, and hopefully we can kind of like block in a way that'll kill a creature so that, that the Edicts can be useful next turn if we're not going to be going with Pestilence. I guess it's a good compromise between the two options that we had. There's a Death Blade, okay. No attacks. That's fine. Okay, there's a Swamp. That's actually really good, too. So... I guess here, like, we clearly should Pestilence. See if he's got some sort of response. He doesn't. In that case, we're looking pretty fine here. Let's, um, I guess we can get in with a Rift Watcher. And pass the turn. Going for the Cartouche, that's not going to help him too much. I just go with the Pestilence and I've got the Double Edict in hand, so there's not much he's going to be able to do to stop me at this point. I will block, however. We'll each take a damage here. Okay, and here I can just play the Guardian of the Guild Pact and the Chainer's Edict, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, perfect. So let's go Edict. <clears throat> yeah, okay, that's game. Good, good, good. All right, so that felt pretty good. We've got Core Sanctifiers that can help us out, as well as Coalition Honor Guard. I like Raven's Crime. I like Crypt Rats, uh, as well as Castigate. That's six cards. That's a lot. I think we can take out a couple Rift Watchers, maybe all of them. Although they are good at blocking the um, Sky Guard. <sighs> Let's take out Wall of Hope. I feel like I take it out every match. Maybe it says something about the card. <clears throat> Excuse me. Prismatic Strands works well. Edicts can be a little bit dead, but not too much. Maybe we don't need the Castigate. We can just go down one Knight's Whisper. Or maybe we keep the Knight's Whisper and we cut a Thrabid Inspector. We just really need a... Um, a lot of removal to deal with all of their threats. And of course, the Crypt Rats and the Pestilence really uh, hammers it home. Hmm. Is there anything I'd rather have? Like, would I like Duress? Might be better than uh, more Inspectors. Let's try it like that. A little behind on time, too, but we're up a game. Okay. That's a fine hand. We can keep this. Opponents mulligan to five, <laughs> which is really good for us. They're going first. We've got their Lagana band. Let's see if we can uh, punish them. Hopefully you don't have the cartouche. Okay, it's Defiant Strike. And Secluded Step, okay. There's Journey. I guess I can just go with the Chainer's Edict. 
That should give me plenty of time to Knight's Whisper and all that, so. <laughs> wow. Okay, I am shocked to see this. Wow, that is that is tech. Well, I can journey it, so it doesn't accomplish all that much, and it's not big, so I guess I go with Knight's Whisper, play the Baron more, and then I have a core sanctifiers that'll Anyway, I don't know if that was... I don't know if that's that good against us. Well, I can't deadweight it. So I guess we'll go with our Baron War. Pass the turn. Look on a band. Okay. Ooh. Well, again, this journey is just doing work. Or do I just go for the core sanctifiers on the ethereal armor? So one card left in hand. Core sanctifiers will block all day. I need double white for that, so. Let's kill the ethereal armor. I'm down to 11, though. It's worth noting. Maybe I should have started cycling these Baron Moors and stuff. Okay, he's going to keep going here. He's got First Strike, which is unfortunate. I would have happily traded with it. But I can trust my deck to give me some life gain eventually. But I did take out the Avon Rift Watchers. Well, all except for one. He's fighting the good fight. Ooh. So I definitely need the block. Uh, I can't kill either of these, so it doesn't really matter. I guess I'll block the Lagana band. Hmm. Yeah, that was smart putting the Ethereal Armor there. So I journey to know where the Death Speakers. One, two, three, four. Five. I'm two away from Chainer's Edict. That's not looking good. So I guess we go with Swamp. We journey to nowhere, the Death Speakers. I can dead weight the warrior. Okay, there's a pestilence. I should still dead weight this. I'm gonna have to take a hit. Whoops. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take a hit from the Lagana ban. Hopefully, it won't be more than two. <laughs> I am getting really low on life. Oh boy. That's not good. That puts him up to five? Yeah. I might be dead. Oh, was, wow. I need a edict. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man. Ask and you shall receive. That's insane. <laughs> okay, well, uh, I don't want to Knight's Whisper 
just yet. Although, I mean, I'm up to seven mana next turn. He's, that, he's got one card left. I think I will Night's Whisper. Okay, Basilica, Mortuary Mire. The Mortuary Mire can get me back Sanctifiers. There's a Trailblazer. I mean, I can just I can just Chainer's Edict it. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess we do do that. We could still be in trouble. I mean, we need we've got a blocker, which is good. Opponent's drawing some lands. They're drawing dead. That's good. Okay, Guardian's excellent. We don't want the we don't want them to get back this Death Speakers, uh, so I guess I will uh, Mortuary Mire. Do I even want this Core Sanctifiers? I guess I do. It's a body. It'll end the game in a few turns, uh, combined with all my other guys. I suppose I can start with Cycling Secluded Step. Some life gain would be really appreciated. This Pestilence is completely dead. Scarab Barons is life gain. Actually, I guess I should wait on the Core Sky Fisher then. If that's what it's going to be, if I want to <laughs> gain some life off these Scarred Barons, yeah, I think I'll just pass. Opponent. Now would be a good time for Raven's Crime to show up. Another Pestilence. Okay. Not the best. Let's Scarred Barons go up to two. I'm going to pick up our Scarred Barons again. And uh, yeah, five turns. <laughs> we'll get there. Maybe he's he's uh, hold you know holding back a few uh, plays of planes. Maybe not. I'm thinking maybe he could be holding back a few creatures so he could play more than one at the same time. But at this point, I can just play Pestilence next next turn. And he's going to be stuck. Really stuck. Oh, wow. Look at all that pestilence. Let's Scarred Barons. This game is really slipping away from him. It was really close. That was a good five, honestly. Maybe we could have played a little bit better that turn with the um, Core Sanctifiers versus uh, the Edict might have been, uh, or the Deadweight might have been, like, kind of on the on the fringe. So I probably could have played that a little bit better, but... So I'm not going to play this Mortuary Mire. I'd rather hold on to it for now. Let's get in. Does it change the clock if I uh, core sanctifiers? It does actually, yeah. So I guess we can go with the sanctifiers. No kicker. Just for three. And maybe I'll just play the Mortuary Mire and put the 
Sanctifiers on top, just in case he does have creature plus aura to kind of stonewall me, though. It'll be very hard with Pestilence, of course. Unless it's a Lugonoban Trailblazer, it's impossible. Ah. <laughs> there it is. Okay. And that's it. Well, we will just edict you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 